Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create something cool like this because it's getting a lot of traction on Twitter or let's say X and it requires basically almost little to no skill. I mean, let's just check out some of the posts. This particular post by Brett actually just got him 3.4k likes. This one got him 7.6k likes, even though it's just a post with a circle with an icon, with a gradient and some background. This particular post someone actually posted, obviously they don't have a huge following like Brett, actually just got them 300. So even for smaller accounts, it's actually getting a lot of traction. And I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly. So the tool that we're going to be using is Paper. You can access it on paper.design. And that is, this is what the tool looks like. It definitely is not a Figma replacement, uh, far from it. But it allows you to do things like this that get posts or get likes quite a lot uh, without any skill. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually draw a, um, a rectangle. I'm going to give it a border radius. Then inside of it, I'm just going to duplicate it. And I'm just going to duplicate it. And actually, even before that, let's just give this a darker color, maybe something like this. Duplicate it. Let's just go ahead and actually reduce it. I'm just going to place this inside here. We're going to place it on the left. Let's give it a particular color like this maybe and make it a <clears throat> circle so we're going to give it a height and a width that's going to be consistent so that's the height as you can see it's further here now what we need here is and what we want to create i've actually created it here is we want a, a sparkle icon we want the ask ai text and we want this particular element here so firstly what we need is we basically need a metal shader so Let's just go ahead and actually check out their shaders here. You can access the shaders from here and just drop this particular thing. You can go ahead and remove the background uh, from here just by reducing the opacity. From here, you can go ahead and actually make it a circle. Now, this is a perfect circle. We're just going to place it here. And there you go. We have this particular circle. And I'm just going to scale it the way however I want it. <clears throat> and I'm just going to place it at the top. So now anything that's below it in the layers panel is actually going to be above it. So it's slightly reversed. So you just have to get a hang of it. And then I'm just going to group it in a frame. So this is now a frame. All of these things are grouped. I can go ahead and move it here. I can reduce the size of this particular element if I want more of the metal element to be visible like I've done here. I'm going to add a gradient at the top. It's just going to be slightly grayish. At the bottom, it's going to be black like this. And it's already looking cool and very similar to some of the other posts that a lot of people are making. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to go to any particular length. Let's just go to remix icons. You can go to any particular icon library you want. I'm going to go to sparkles. Here I have a sparkle or maybe actually I like this one. I'm going to make it white and I'm going to copy the SVG and I'm just going to paste it here. So here is my SVG. I'm just going to scale it. And there you go. Now someone's going to be like, hey, Maybe I actually want this metal shader on this star icon as well. That can easily be done. Let me just go ahead and actually download this icon. So I have downloaded it. Here is the icon. <clears throat> I'm just going to remove it from here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate this liquid metal and I'm just going to place it at the bottom so you can see it. Then I'm going to here on the right hand side, we can control all of the different types of properties, repetition, the angle and stuff along those lines. If you want to play around with that, you can, but I'm not going to uh, increase the size of this video just for that right now. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the SVG that I want. And as you can see, we have this particular icon inside of it with colors as well. Now, once you have that done, I can go ahead and actually write and ask AI similar to what I showed you in the initial example. Let's just go ahead and actually increase its font size to something like this. I don't want the Ask AI to be inside of this container, so I'm just going to move this outside. So we have Ask AI written here. Now, maybe I actually want a different type of shader here. Okay, so once we're done with that, uh, maybe we need another effect here. So let's just go ahead and decide which effect we actually need. Hmm. I think this neuro noise effect can also be really good. So let's just go ahead and actually drag it right above this particular one. And okay, so this is what it actually, even this effect directly on the background looks fine as well. I don't actually mind that. But let's try to apply it directly on top of this particular text only. So when we actually go ahead and multiply it, as you can see, 
that the text is coming there, right? I can try some other blending modes. I actually think the multiply is fine, but obviously we need to make sure that it is visible, right? So how do I make it visible? I can go ahead and I can increase this particular uh, color. I can decide what this particular color is going to be. Like maybe it's going to be dark like this. And it's only going to become visible if the colors on top of it actually become visible. Like for example, we use this color. And here we actually use a different color like this. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and increase the scale, increase the brightness slightly. Uh, actually, it's much better to actually see what the effect looks like before we actually even go ahead and apply these things. So I'm going to go ahead and see what this, okay, this I think looks much better. So we're going to go ahead and do a multiply again. And this is what the effect looks like. Now, if you want to go ahead and actually change this blue slightly to a slightly less blue, and this one to a slightly grayish tone. We can do that. But you can play around with that. Okay, so we have this particular effect on Ask AI slightly coming in. And we need some effect on the border if we want it. So maybe the border effect is going to be this pulsing border. I actually think it looks really good. Let's just go ahead and decide what the roundness is going to be. So it's going to be completely round. We're not going to have any... Uh, opacity on the background so let's just go ahead and remove that and there you go we have this particular effect let's just go ahead and add it at the background so i'm just going to go ahead and add it here outside of this container obviously and let's just go ahead and reduce it in size and there you go i think we already have the effect let's just go ahead and increase it slightly adjust its positioning and slightly reduce it as well and there you have the effect now obviously we may not want all of the red lines so you can go ahead and actually remove the red lines from this pulsing pulsing border as well so i don't need the red let's go ahead and make it maybe greenish or something i don't need this particular one so let's make it bluish something like this and there you go you have uh an animation like this and that's pretty much it very similarly if you actually go on the liquid metal you can go ahead and tweak any of the other different options that you have on the liquid metal as well but that's pretty much what's required of creating something like this that's pretty basic and if we have a look at what i've done here obviously it's very similar and i just tweaked the properties but that's what you need to do to create something like this so yeah that's pretty much it do subscribe to hit the bell icon i'll see you later take care bye